Well, we made the five hour drive down through uh, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, and now we're in Pennsylvania, Allentown. Uh, we're at the uh, Merchant Square Mall where the annual non-sport trading card uh, show is being held. Even though they call it the Philadelphia Card Show, it's about an hour away from Philadelphia. But this is, uh, it's been here for well over 30 years in this area, and this is the first time we've come down here. So uh, why don't we go inside, take a look, and uh, see what we can find. Yep. show a couple of times. We've got all the promo cards as you can see. we got some relics, we got some autographs. Uh, we'll be showing them all off as soon as we're done with this recap, so stay tuned for that. I uh, highly recommend you guys make the trip out for the show next year. It's a great time. we got bags full of stuff. We already dropped off some bags in the car, so... Lots of free stuff, lots of promo stuff, candy. We had a blast. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this little look at the Philly Non-Sport Card Show. And uh, stay tuned because we're going to be back at the house and we'll be showing off the stuff we got. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Well, guys, that was the show video. Yep. And this is just some of the stuff we bought at the show. I had to take multiple trips out from the show uh, to the car to get rid of stuff. And we're just going to go over some of the things we bought, some of the promo cards we had. Uh, but I just want to ask you, Lucas, uh, what would you think of the show? Great. Lots of cheap stuff, some free stuff, free cards. And every time, if you just were thinking about going there, you get a free little goodie bag. You get uh, one full set per person. You don't know what you'll get. just so happens that I got or I got Clone Wars... My sister Lily got the bone set. Yep, we got so each uh, bag that you can't okay, actually. Can you grab one of the bags for me, right over there? Actually, right in there. So you got this bag with every admission. Kids were actually free, which I didn't realize on their website. It didn't say anything about it, so I thought they'd pay. You get one of these non-sport update bags, and inside they had one of these sets. Uh, and then we got a little one. It's hard to see, but it's Lord of the Rings little micro set. We love Bone, the comic book, so that's. Awesome. It's the foil set. We love Star Wars, the Clone Wars, obviously. Conan, you know, I dig. I, not a set I would have probably bought, but still pretty cool. And then the Lord of the Rings, which uh, Jen got. In addition to that, we got some promo cards in each pack as well. So we got, let's see here. These are the promo packs that came in the box right here. So I'm going to show you off these promo cards. And we do have uh, an extra set to give away uh, with the contest. If this would be interesting to you to have a contest, let me know. And also, in every pack that you get, when you come in, it comes with a yellow slip. And then 
There was this person, and you Oh, get... whoa, whoa, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's go slow. Let's go slow. First off, what do you say we give away some cards? Okay. So these are all... These are the... Uh, this is the promo pack. Were these the exclusive ones? Don't know. Yes, they are. So these are exclusive promo cards. And this was the whole pack. So why don't we uh, give this pack away of oh, promo cards okay. to one lucky viewer. And you can see on the back, a lot of them say the Philadelphia Non-Sports Card Show. So that you don't have to go there to get something from there. That's right. If you couldn't make it to Philadelphia for this, you can have all of these promo cards. This complete Maybe. pack for one right. random viewer. Because what am I going to do with them? And here's another one that on the back. It shows it in the bottom corner. Uh, they had a couple custom cards there for the Philly show of uh, different uh, exhibitors. This is an artist. These are longtime fans. Which, of course, we're looking through them and, God, we want one. We should make some of these. These are so cool. And then I, uh, one of the longtime viewers, uh, readers of Non-Sport Update who passed away, which is a very cool touch. We got some Lady Death. Again, non-sport update. She's a comic character. We got the highly desirable uh, Firefly Browncoats promo card. Spellcasters. And on the back, non-sport card show. And then we got the Philly non-sports card show, 89 Superhero Worship. And this is from the uh, Creature Collection Blood Drive. And that's one of two exclusive show promos. So, if you want to win this set of exclusive promo cards from the non-sport update uh, card show, Philadelphia card show, email me at the address right here uh, and in the subject line say promo pack contest promo pack contest and I will enter you in. Don't leave comments below to enter the contest because I can't keep up with them because YouTube the way you curate them is just too tough but email me at this address Promo card contest. Did I say card contest or pack contest? Promo mm. pack contest. Promo pack contest. Let's go with that. Promo pack contest. PPC. In the subject line, along with your name in the uh, that you want to enter the contest in the actual email, so it doesn't get flagged to spam. Uh, send them off to me. We'll do. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, October. We'll go uh, till November first, and we'll draw one random uh, viewer. We'll win the pack. I'll ship it out to you for free. And then you too could have got the cards from the card show. So those are some extra packs there. Now we also got some other promo cards. And I will show those off to you. We got a Battle of the Five Armies Hobbit exclusive from Cryptozoic. We got a Penny Dreadful promo card. We got a Walking Dead Cryptozoic promo card. We got the walk, uh, Walking Dead, the Big Bang Theory <laughs> exclusive promo card. And then we got a, an American Horror Story, a different one than the one that was in the pack. And the Women of Dynamite promo card. Which is pretty cool. Um, did we get, where did we get these from? These were in Cryptozoic, were they? They might have been. Maybe. I don't know. But these four definitely were given out at the Cryptozoic table. Uh, Hobbit, Big Bang Theory, Walking Dead, and Penny Dreadful. Um, contest? Let's do another contest. Okay. We'll give away all six of these promo cards. Again, email the address on the bottom. This time you're going to put Cryptozoic Promo Contest. Cryptozoic Promo Contest. Uh, Cryptozoic is spelled C-R-Y-P-T-O-Z-O-I-C. And we, you can enter both contests. You can win both contests if you're that lucky. But uh, we have a set of six cards here that we got from the Cryptozoic booth. So uh, enter that as well if you want. Uh, yep. And then you can get some of these exclusive cards. And there was a line for these cards. Now, in addition to that, Lucas uh, had mentioned previously... Oh, there's a few more promos I didn't show off. Uh, this is a card game that's coming out soon. Show that. And then, uh, oops, we got a Mars Attack promo. From These are all uh, Sidekick Trading Card Publishing. We got the Thunderstone the Mar Magician, which is pretty cool. And then we got the Keller, the Consorting with the Demons. American Magician. 
So we got some of those. And uh, we may do another contest next episode with some of those promo cards. But I want to flood you guys with contests here. Um, and that was pretty cool. And he actually had us a couple different sets out that he gave us uh, to open up and review. We got Curiosity on Mars. We got the Creature Collection uh, Blood Drive Convention Exclusive Pack. And I got a pack of Passcode uh, cards. So we're going to open those up in a little bit on this very video, so stay tuned for that. Now, Lucas had been talking about the Cribzoic booth. We went up, you get a little uh, yellow slip in each pack of promo cards when you came in, in the uh, the bag. Yeah. And then what happens? And then, so you go to that booth and there's this guy. Very he nice. his iPad set up and you spin the wheel on his iPad and whatever it lands on, you get. So, um... Like I, so we got an arrow autograph. Yep, this is an arrow autograph card from Colin Donnell as Tommy Merlin. And that's an on card autograph. We got a castle autograph. This is Terry Polo, who's been in a ton of uh, different shows, but this is featuring Castle. And we got some sort of. Dark Seed. Dark Seed. Dark Seed or Dark Side, however you say that from DC. And this is a full sketch card. And then Lillian got a non-relic, totally fabricated card from Adventure Time with a piece of clothing. Because obviously it's a cartoon, so there's no actual relic. So they made up a fake relic. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, you spun the wheel. Uh, Jen got a pack of cards. Uh, we had a couple extra coupons, uh, so we got a few extra cards. So awesome there. Kribzoic had a great booth showing off the new Ghostbuster line. Uh, lines out the door. Tops was there. They had a nice booth with the new Star Wars cards. We got some. Uh, we got a whole bag of these different. Uh, uh, what are they called? Star Wars Chips. collections. Yeah, Galactic Connections. Uh, yeah. Disc. Uh, very cool. We got uh, stickers. We got a pile. They were just putting out cards you could take from the Rebels. Yes. So we got a, a whole bunch of stickers. Yeah. Uh, very nice gentleman there as well, talking about the Star Wars sets. Oh, what else did we get? Oh, there's a, can't show this up, Galactic Groceries coming. Uh, they had a nice table, ni very nice gentleman. Uh, he watches the videos, which is also nice. We had a bunch of people who recognized us, which is always fun. Uh, so if you yeah. do see us on one of these shows, say hello. So you can see here, uh, do they both say the same? A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, or was it a falcon, mothers from different planets would trek to the local store to perform their weekly ritual of food shopping. Galactic Groceries return to these good old days and bring back stellar products from the past as well as some new ones. May the farce be with you as we venture into the new priority frontier. So uh, these are like uh, fake cereal boxes or yeah. soup boxes or whatever. So you got Sleepio's, the cereal mothers want their kids to eat because they go to sleep. We got DT cereal, the favorite cereal of all alcoholic aliens, and he's pouring beer instead of milk. We got Trex. Fruit flavored dilithium crystals, kind of like Star Trek, which is cool. Um, nope, that's. I thought that's there, was, it. there was only yeah. three of them. Yeah. Cool. And so then we also got some autographed ones. Yeah, he autographed a couple of them for us. One of each. Yeah, one of each. Very nice. And we have a few extras. So, uh, next video, I think we'll do a contest for those and the uh, and a set of sidekick promo cards. Wouldn't that be cool? Yep. So we'll do some contests continuing in the future as well. Uh, what are these car promo cards uh, from? Just a bunch of Ultron. Oh, this is the new Verse system that's coming back. Uh, Verse was a tra collectible trading card game back in the uh, early 2000s, which uh, died out after a while, but they had all kinds of superhero uh, video games. Uh, Lucas got a tin for a dollar to store, store his cards in. Lucas went to a guy who had, what was it, 30 cards for a dollar? Yeah. So he got a whole stack of Turtles, uh, Ace Ventura, Mars Attacks, uh, Star Wars, widescreen. Very cool. You guys had a lot of fun with yeah. going through those. Uh, one of the dealers just went ahead and gave us these uh, Blue Devil, Blue Devil, <laughs> Blue Angels training card sets. Uh, totally different, Dad. It, How can you mix those I, up? I don't know. In uh, Rhode Island, we have the Quantit Air Show every year at the National Guard Base, and the Blue Angels do perform, and we've seen them. Yeah. I don't know if you were... Too young to remember watching them. Uh, you were so small that it, the noise actually kind of scared you. 
Uh, we got a bunch of three for a dollar packs uh, as little stocking stuff or gifts for people who don't collect trading cards. Maybe get them interested in collecting. Lucas got a Pokeball with a... Uh, this was free, right? Yeah. There was a free box as well. Yeah. Which is cool. Uh, at the non sport update, they had a set of uh, cartoon, uh, classic cartoon uh, sets. This is actually almost like a magnet, it's so heavy, it's metal. Uh, and then they have a bunch of Betty Boo, Public Domain, uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost. And these are from Brygent, Mighty Mouse. Oops. There we go. Betty Boop doing the Beatles help. Betty Boop and the Crows with the Betty Boop. So we got two sets of those. So I'm thinking maybe another contest to give those away. So if you like non-sport promo cards and exclusive stuff, you may want to subscribe to the Except channel. I give them the bad news. What's the bad news? Uh, remember, I almost got sick. Oh, Lucas, uh, while we were at the show, got a little lightheaded, turned pasty white. So we had to bring him outside, get him some water, yeah. get him some fresh air. But he was good for the rest of the day, yep. so no harm, no, no foul. Nothing bad. Uh, well, Lillian chose two uh, sketch cards, uh, print cards from uh, one of the artists who was there. Very nice. Yeah. That was her favorite. Uh, Lucas and Lily got these limited edition uh, non-sport Philly show cards. Those were, I think, three bucks a piece. Of course, Star Wars. Can't go wrong with that. We got a box of Star Wars Galaxy Series 2. Because I loved, what would you, Series 7 box break? Uh, maybe. Probably. Yeah, I think it was 7. So this is Series 2. We bought that to break in the future video. And we got a little box of Stupid Heroes trading cards. Along series 1. Along with a pack. So we're going to do this box break as well. Um, and they actually have another set that's coming out called Serial Killer sticker Killers. cards. Oh, I thought it was Serial Killers. So... Keep an eye out for that. So, overall, I'd have to say the Philadelphia Non-Sport Card Show was awesome. A lot yeah. of fun. We loved meeting uh, the people who watched the videos, you know, of course. But everyone was so friendly. Yeah. They loved talking about the cards. I didn't get any real old cards, uh, you know, but I spent a lot of money on buying stuff for the kids. Yeah. Uh, we got stuff for contests. It, it, it was an excellent time. And also, uh, if, you, if you just go there and... You just want to take a break from cards. It's also in a mall, so there's also lots of toys, lots of anything, basically. There's yeah. cards, if they had like a, toys. It's in like a, uh, what do they call it? Not an antique mall, but almost like an antique mall, but they have different uh, stores. And uh, they had everything. They had a wrestling museum upstairs. They had all kinds of records, toys, games. It was great just to walk through, take a break yeah. from the show. Uh very easy to get to, plenty of free parking, nice secure area, you weren't, you know, it wasn't skeezy or anything. Very cool. We had a lot yep. of fun. Probably going to go back next year. Yeah. Uh, I think even my wife uh, wound up, she was a little leery about what she was going to do the whole time, and she wound up on the floor with us looking through boxes. She was totally involved getting cards that uh, yeah. from her youth that she didn't even know exist. Uh, so, what do you say we do a little pack break? What are we going to open? We got these three packs. Oh, I like the stupid heroes. You want to do that too? Yeah. So these are all small independent manufacturers. So let's take a look at these guys. Um, which one do you want to do first? We'll do, we'll, we'll each open one of these and then we can open these. So open up that one. And this is the stupid heroes. This is a little preview of the box that we're going to open. And they have, uh, I believe, sketch cards and some other inserts in the full box. Uh, so check, take, keep, blah, 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 blah. keep an eye out for those coming soon. Of course, thanks to Non-Sport Update for running that great show and for, uh, you know, introducing yourselves. Fire Snatter. So this is like the Garbage Pail Kids of yesteryear, but these are all superheroes called superhero, Stupid Heroes. And this is a Fire fire Snatter. See, it's a little bit disgusting, blowing flaming snots out of his uh, nose and with a puzzle back. Green Lantern? The Green Latrine. Uh. Latrine is a uh, name, another name for bathroom. So he has toilet paper and a toilet bowl cleaner. And this just gives a, makes up, you know, the backstory, where he lives, and how he became a hero. And then we have Blobbin. Blobbin instead of Robin. That's great. Bionic Booger. Oh, God. There you go. Close-up of a booger coming out of someone's nose. Oh, God. Talk Show Girl. Talk Show Girl, huh? 
Interesting. Pretty cool art, too. Salad thing. The salad thing instead of the swamp thing. I mean, most of them do have the backgrounds, uh, the backs that have the histories the of the fake characters. Hick. The Inbredable Hick. And Spy Dorman. Spy Dorman. Oh, man. That seems to be a little bit of a stretch, but this one actually has the artist bios on the back. So that's actually pretty disgusting yeah. and fun. So I think I'm looking forward to breaking that box. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at these. So this is the uh, Curiosity on Mars. It's a set of 24 cards, and each pack has seven. Oh, geez. It's a hard yeah, so this is the old school wrapper. The wax wrapper there, and it has a checklist on the inside, which is cool. Makes it a little useful. A little useful? Makes it very useful. All right. And that's what the wrapper looks like all unfolded, just like the ones you used to buy at the convenience store. Let's see what this is. Curiosity lands on Mars. crazy and uh, there you go and this is a uh, documenting uh, NASA launching the probe of Mars so wait, how many are, are in each pack oh wow they even have some of the images what? from Mars Can I see? <laughs> oh, cool. oh there you go yeah actually if I hold it right like that that's cool Look at, and there it is. That's looking down right at the tires. Cool. Very cool. Very educational. All right, something like that, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's pictures of the, uh, of Mars. You know, uh, interesting. Very cool. A lot of deep information on the back as well, uh, which is very cool. You know, educational. Very interesting set. Very retro looking, actually. This one, this is a pretty cool picture. Just being able to see the whole guy and a yep. laser coming out of his forehead. So this is card number nine, obviously. And it says, Curiosity at Work on Mars. This artist's concept depicts the rover Curiosity of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission as it uses its chemistry and camera instrument in its investigation of a rock surface. ChemCam fires laser pulses at a target and views the resulting spark with a telescopic and a telescope and spectrometers to identify chemical elements. Jeez, cool. Is that actually Lego? <laughs> Is that it made out of Lego? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. We got some pretty weird picture. Yeah, what is that? Color panorama. So that that's like like a panorama image. Oh yeah, but why is there black? Uh, must be a uh, must have been blocked out from a uh, part of the equipment. Mm -hmm. The full panorama spans cards 12, 15, and 18 of this set. Okay, we've got another Next pretty picture of Mars. Yeah, a little bit of a breakdown of the rover. I don't know what. Oh, I was holding it down that's away. the trajectory of uh, how it parachuted down yeah. onto the planet. Don't we have it kind of being like studied on? The yep, there it is in real life. So interesting set, very cool. Curiosity on Mars, officially licensed from NASA, no less. Well, or at least they gave permission to use the photos. I'm not sure if the photos are public domain or not. But 24 photos, so we got a, almost a complete set here. Yeah. Very many, cool. Highly many? recommend that for you non-sport people who want something a little more educational, a little less goofy. But let's get to goofy. Passcode. Won't won't won. This is. Yeah. To, from 2013, and I believe this is all like retro 8-bit video game artwork. Ooh, I want to open it. Oh, you want to open it? Yeah. Well, who am I to deny a kid a chance to open up a wax pack of trading cards? That's not how I roll. Cool. Doing a good job keeping the wrapper mid condition. Very impressive. Very impressive. The Cliffs of Gran. The Cliffs of Grantham. So predictable. It says on the back. So predictable. From passcode, the Cliffs of Garnathian, card number one. Are these all based off of one game? The Ghosts of Nemeca. Dad, are these all based off of one game? I don't know. I don't know if this is a made-up game telling a story or a... 
The rapper doesn't give any real information. I don't remember what he told us about this. I think it was just kind of made up. Is, is this one? Oh, okay. So is this the whole set of them? So this yeah. is card three. Hunt down the leader. Let nothing stand in our way. You have reached far into the darkness to show them the way. It's almost like the still screens from 8-bit video games that would tell the story. Behold, young traveler, the greatest threat the Glio system has ever known. That burning gaze should have warned us to what lurked deep inside the darkest of our Volcarta. Tiring. You were destined for more than this. Time to brighten things up, my friend. Ooh, they brought color to the world. And I am the dark traveler. Wait, before they didn't have color? No, they did. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. There must be a backstory behind this that I am not hip enough to know about. So I'm going to have to look into it and I'll post uh, some update on that one. So that was passcode. And this is the one. This was the convention exclusive. It has five training cards and one stick of inedible gum. Look for the all new 80s vintage style blood drive series one on Kickstarter in October. So keep your eye out for that. Wait, what's inedible? <clears throat> inedible. Can't be eaten. Why can't it? We'll have to find out when you open it. And this was uh, the promo cards we showed you earlier. And this is just a full pack here. So this is what <laughs> it's... Instead of a gum, it's just, uh, what is it, like styrofoam, oh. plastic, bendy. <clears throat> Mr. Funny Bones, that's cool. Yeah. Re replica gum, how can you go wrong with that? <clears throat> so what do we got? Oh, God, you got gave me this one first, huh? Francesca Despero. That was the first one in the pack. Card number one. By all appearances, millionaire Francesco De Depru is a successful artist, toy maker, and philanthropist. She is world famous for her charity work and patronage of the art. To know, those who know her best, she is an ageless vampire and half-sister to the legendary Count Dracula. Each year, in celebration of Mardi Gras, she hosts an epic and unique party at her secluded estate deep in the Louisiana woods known simply as Blood Drive. It's a festival of carnal pleasures, gladiatorial combat, uh, theater, and for those few humans invited to attend unspeakable terror. The year is 1985, and you are cordially invited to attend Blood Drive as her most honored guest. <laughs> and this is the sheet creature. And there's a lot of text on the back here. I'm not going to read them all for you in case you want to. Uh... This is the creature. Oh, wow. That's actually very, very nice artwork. That's artwork? Yeah, so someone drew that. Oh, cool. Gorm Disco the Wolf. The Wolf. This was the last one, but it's only a piece of paper. Protected from the ceiling. Very nice. And the Blood Drive. And the Blood Drive. Blood Drive is a multimedia horror comedy project that consists of trading cards, merchandise, and illustrated novels that detail the exploits of the villainous vampire Francesca de Pru and those who stand against her. This exciting... 80s vintage style trading card created by Bobby Ray Actors Jr. and Dennis M. Wilman features countless creatures, monsters, villains, and heroes, some of which are highlighted here in this convention exclusive preview art set. Look for Blood Drive Series 1 on Kickstarter. <clears throat> now, let me look back at a. Uh... When people. Because this was a little different. This was a Philly Non Sport Blood Drive. 89 Heroes Worship. Blood Drive. Oh, I see. Blood Drive. There's a different one. So this is a. Normal this is blood the Blood drive. drive. Yeah, then there's Blood Drive. The Parody Collection is an upcoming trading card set that sends up many of the most popular science fiction, fantasy, and horror franchises of the last 50 years. Feel the farce and bring your nerd proudly to the front line of our cultural combat. So did I get. Did I get another. Uh, where did I put the promo cards for this? There was two different ones, and he gave us the other one, so we had the set to show off. I said over there. And I don't want him to think that I didn't do what I told him I would do. Maybe. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sakes, what happened to that other card? Is it? 
Like these? Uh, nope, those are all of those. These are these. I don't know, I feel like I'm uh, missing a couple cards here. Actually, let me see. Hold on. P. Ah, oh, here we go. What? This one has the other one in it. So th they had two of them uh, that you could get at the show. This is called. Uh, this is obviously a parody of Batman. Yeah. And then this one is. Uh, Darth Vader or something? Yeah, someone with a lightsaber. And th these are really cute and clever as well. So I like all of these Blood Drive cards. Uh, so keep your eye out on Kickstarter for this one because, as you can see, the artwork is uh, excellent. Excellent. And uh, going to add these to my collection. Absolutely. So Blood Same. Drive, huh? Do they have a website on that card? Why do I feel no? So if uh, check the comments below. I will if, Once it goes live on Kickstarter, I will... Uh, Put the link below, so. Um, I don't think it says who it is. I think it just might be any Seth. All right. So, I think that's it for us and our recap yep. of the uh, Philadelphia Non-Sports Card Show. Yeah. Run by Non-Sport Update Magazine. Uh, over 30 years uh, they've been doing it, and it was our first time, and we had a blast. After yeah. we were there, we went to uh, Sleepy Hollow, uh, which was a great time. Yeah. We saw... Uh, the gravestones, the statues, yeah. very cool. And we also went to the Pandorica, yep, Doctor Who themed restaurant in uh, New York, where we had a delicious dinner, and uh, it was great. All, all themed Doctor Who. It was yeah. excellent, excellent trip. What was your favorite thing you got at the card show? Tough choice, I know. Yeah. Can you pick one? Is it possible? The promo cards, the autographs, the sketches, the boxes of cards, the stack of of singles, the sets. Uh, I what? think it might be the sets. The sets? Yeah. Yeah, because you got a lot of cards in there, huh? Yeah. Cool. So that's it for us. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to the channel for the box breaks of the boxes we brought back. Um, what do we got coming up? We got another sports card show coming up. Uh, we're going to Rhode Island Comic Con. We'll have a video from that. Yeah. A lot more stuff. We got more sports cards. We got more through the mail cards. We yeah. got so much stuff coming up. Loot crate, nerd yeah, block, yeah, science yeah. fiction block. Oh my God! So much stuff. We got to start making some videos here. So subscribe if you liked what you saw. Subscribe if you didn't, because wh why not? You got anything better to do? Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. As always, I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. See you guys later. Bye.